What is going on, YouTube? It's Math Tutorials 14 here. We're back on our tutorial. Uh, so thumbs up for that. I haven't made a tutorial in a really long time, so I'm really happy to bring another tutorial for you guys today. Um, this is a little bit of a mini-ish tutorial, but I'm hoping it will help um, new users to jailbreaking. So um, you've jail you want to jailbreak a device, and you've gone through the steps using Evasion 7. Um, and if you haven't, the link for that will be down in the description below. I made a jailbreak tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it. And it will explain to you how to jailbreak your device. But even with all the Evasion 7 updates, unfortunately, the over-the-air bug has not been fixed. If you do not what I'm talking if you do not know what I'm talking about, I will tell you. Basically, if you over-the-air update from iOS 6 to iOS 7, or if you previously did before, before making a restore to your device, then there will be some crashes, um, not everything's going to work, uh, some of the stock apps will not work. Um, just note that is because of over-the-air updates. So, um, actually what you have to do, it's really, really simple. Um, so, all you guys have to do is connect your device via USB. So as you can see, my device connected, and now we don't need that. I'm just gonna quit out of here. Okay, so now and now we have iTunes. So as you can see, this is where it is. So here, um, I have uh, all this here. So uh, I am on iOS 7.0.4. As long as you're on iOS 7, doesn't really matter. Um, you know what? Um, so anyway, uh, all you want to do is you just want to press Restore Phone. Then after that, it's going to ask you, do you want to back up the settings for your iPhone, uh, David's iPhone, which is what I have, um, before restoring the software. So you always want to tap back up. You always want to back it up. Then after that, it'll go through the process. You'll have a newly restored device, and then all you have to do is exit out of here, and then go into Evasion 7. Um, if the device isn't connected, reconnect the device. Then it will recognize it, go through the jailbreak process, and then it will function without any errors whatsoever. Um, so basically, all you have to do is go into iTunes, re uh, back up, and then restore your phone, and then back, uh, and then restore from that backup. And then you will you will still have all your settings and everything. It's not going to be changed. Your contacts will all still be on there. Now, another way to do this, I will show you. Let's open up Reflector, see if this will work because it was not working for me before. Let's see if it'll work now. So if I can mirror my phone, let's see if I can. Nope, it's not showing up here. Um, but normally, what I would be able to do is I would actually be able to go in the settings. So all you have to do for this, um, I somewhat recommend doing this as well, is going into settings, then going into iCloud. You can't really see it. And then um, if you don't already, uh, actually make a new uh, account. Um, by default, it'll give you an, an uh, iCloud.com um, uh, little extension, so um, it does give you 5 gigabytes free for an entire year, so that's pretty nice. Um, so I, it is really, really easy, especially if you're backing up your device, it is really, really easy to use up those 5 gigabytes of space. I know I, I always do. So anyway, um, now what you want to do, once you create that account, is go into scroll all the way get down and go into storage and backup. Then after that, all you're going to do is scroll all the way down until it says uh, iCloud Backup. You're just going to turn that on and then uh, hit Backup now if it has not been backed up already. What that's going to do is going to back up all your contacts, all your apps, everything that you have on this device um, in case you decide to restore and you, you don't have a computer with you. And after you restore, you want all your things back. Well, you can go on iCloud instead of restoring it through iTunes, like I showed you how to do. But anyway, as I said, you just go back in Invasion, like I said, and then connect it, jailbreak it, then go through all the steps, and it should work. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video, guys. Anyway, that's it for now, and I guess for now, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.